sound is coming from over here. Huh? Whoa! Stowaway Space Frog! Hey there, little guy. Look, I found a space frog. Wow, he's cute. We should give him a name. Herbie? Henry? Oh, I know. Harold. Harold, I like it. Where'd you come from, Harold? My creature book says frogs live on land and in water. It doesn't say anything about rockets. We should find Harold a home. Yeah. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yay! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. For Harold. Who's Harold? Harold is a space frog. Finding Harold a home sounds like a great mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The ice planet. Ooh, it'll be too cold there for Harold. The water planet? Hmm, space frogs like water, but not all the time. The forest planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. live on land or in water. Right. So we should find a home that has both land and water. I bet Harold can lead us to the perfect spot. He's a smart little guy. Someplace else. That okay with you, Rob? Rob? <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Rob? Playing hide and seek with Harold. It's his turn to find me. <laughs> but we're supposed to be finding Harold a good home. Not playing games. Oh, right. Sorry. We'll find you a good home, won't we, buddy? <laughs> this way, everyone. But what about the canyon? We're 
not going to let a little old cannon stop us, are we, Harold? What's that? There's a good home for you on the other side? Okay, let's go. Harold, 
we'd become good friends. Then we discovered Harold could have lots of friends, and that made me happy, because I knew Harold would be happy. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye.